Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another What's Sold video for you today. It is Friday and we're gonna follow Kathy around to see what's sold and show you guys how we're packing them up. Hey guys, um, I have my first item here just cause I kind of had to already pull it out and kind of get it ready to figure out shipping. So this is like a weird case where Okay, so let's say, so these sold for $35.56 plus shipping, but I charge the buyer $11.99 shipping. You know, that's my average, what I do for like a two to three pound package. And of course these, again, are going to Alaska like the sale we had yesterday. Right. So in order to keep them under the two pounds, I'm putting them in each of the plastics and then in here. So individually wrapping yeah. them in the cellophane bag. I wanted to do bubble wrap, but there was not enough. Like, weight room, yeah, yeah. Weight room, room for weight. So, Crossing my fingers, nothing happens with these. You know, I mean, this is how I've sent shoes yeah. since forever, but Alaska is a far journey, so. It is. Um, anyways, hope no issues come with that, but yeah. The shipping label for two pounds to Alaska was 11.34. Just to do one more pound was 15.96. So normally if it was like a buck or even two bucks. Yeah, we'd bite that bullet. I did bullet. not really want to pay the extra five. Even if I did, I still would have made like an $18 profit on mm -hmm. these, but. I just didn't want to, I wanted to keep that extra five bucks, so. And again, yeah. if something does get damaged, like there's insurance on it, we'd be able to refund the buyer. Yeah. And the I odds mean, of it happening shoes. is not very high. Yeah, there's like nothing, they're not leather. Mm -hmm. If they were leather, I probably would not have done this, but I mean, I ship baby shoes. Like if these were baby shoes, they would have shipped first class in a poly mailer anyway. So yeah. it's not really that much different. It just feels weird. I don't know why. <laughs> I almost feel like poly mailer bag ma packages are treated more gently than yeah, boxes and stuff. That's true. So. I, I mean, you know, just assuming <laughs> because I, I usually see stuff like that in those like plastic tote bin kind of things yeah. that they carry around. And once they're in there, there's yeah. really nothing that can happen to them. So, so let yeah. us know what you guys think. I mean, I've done it plenty of times and still have not had yeah. complaints, but I'm sure one day that some one of them, the envelope <laughs> will get torn or something. So anyways, I have 807 into those. Those are from the Once Upon a Child haul we just did. All right, box W. I was very glad to see this sell. Random hard good I just picked up for no reason at all. Is it's it not in there? <laughs> Oh, very tiny. It's, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's these, like, metal servings. Like salad spoon spoons. Fork. Yeah, I think they're like a salad spoon. So the, the brand, I don't even know how you say it. Is it just Dansk? Dansk. India. That's what I would say. I don't know. So, yeah, I've heard people talk about this brand. I don't know what specific items are good by it, but these were not. <laughs> um, I still made some profit. I have 250 into each, like, total. So not each. Um, and they sold for $12 plus shipping. So not huge money, but yeah. not losing money. It took probably a year to sell. Would not pick them up again. Was that from the sure. bins? Those weren't from the bins. They were just no. at a normal Goodwill. Okay. And I was trying out hard goods. I think I was looking <laughs> at pots and pans, saw those, decided to try them out. I want to, they're going to go in a poly because they're under a pound, but not enough space left to put them in a box. So, but I do want to put some Bubble, wrap. bubble around them. What am I doing? I keep opening the doors. <laughs> I think I'm trying to decide if they fit in the 10 by 13. You're stuck Let's in a loop. See. It looks like these, yeah, they so I'll bubble wrap them and then put them in this envelope. Um, but it's not global shipping, but these were going to like, they're going to Portland, but then it looks like they're probably getting shipped from a place in Portland that does Right, like a freight forwarding yeah. or something like that. So even though they only paid 12 plus shipping for me, they probably paid a lot more shipping to get them where they're going. Right. So. And did they have any special instructions or anything? Sometimes those freight forwarding companies try no. to say, can you put this number on the box and all that kind of stuff. They didn't, although there is like a number on the address a reference line, number. so that probably tells them what they need to do yeah. with it. So yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> Would not recommend picking those up. All right, BW. I need to use my Halloween now. <laughs> uh, BW, where you at? Very glad these sold because I just kept getting lowball offers on them on Facebook, so I deleted them off Facebook. Um, but they're just some nice. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Uh, they're just some nice vans. Like, I love this color, for, especially for fall. And I picked these up at a garage sale over the summer for $5. They sold today for $40.88 plus shipping, so. Very nice. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Those are going in a shoe box. I did get some more beautiful flat rates, and I was like, oh, maybe I could do that. Oh, I yeah. Get those, we were trying to work. fit those in them. <laughs> Where's the shoe boxes? These ones? Yeah. It's a shoe box for the bands. All right, and then CJ. Columbia Police. Oh, yeah. This is going out to our viewer, Jessica. Thank you so much, Jessica. Um, it's a Columbia Boys Fleece. I did pay $8.99 for this, which is way too much for like a thrift like for thrifting but it's like in perfect condition mine like it doesn't have a tag but it honestly doesn't look worn or washed so sweet anyways um jessica purchased it for 23 dollars plus shipping on mercari i thought it was funny i noticed when the sale came through her shipping charge was 4.99 which means it's been listed probably since last year or so before the shipping oh the <laughs> before they up. increased the raise yeah, the rates like, yeah so you got lucky <laughs> 4.99 shipping <laughs> yeah five shipping now for the same label is 5.99 but on mercari as long as the listing was already up before the change they don't like make you pay right. the extra dollar so that was cool <laughs> so jessica thank you so much i hope that works out well for yeah, you thank I, you so much for the I support don't know if it's for your son or what but seems yeah. like it's in good good shape so yeah. hope you enjoy um, it I want to put it in one of my Halloween, but I think it's a little too puffy. So let's do this cute dog. These are my favorite bigger ones that I have. Slightly and those bigger. are kind of like a mid-range, right? Yeah. They're, yeah. So we have like our big lemon the miller. Lemons, but... So like, oh, that's a small miller. Yeah, she sent me a couple of freebies with my last order, the shipping hit. So, yeah, yeah. that's all, like the only <laughs> lemon. That's a small that's one. That's funny. All right. <laughs> so box T. Ruby and Luca. So these guys. Um, I've had these for a while. I had actually two pairs. One of them sold off pretty quickly. This one took a while to sell, but it sold for 22 plus shipping on Facebook. I have $3.84 into those. So pretty good little sale there. And um, those are Facebook. So I'm actually going to grab one of my random little boxes for those. Okay, yeah, we have lots of little... Yeah, because it can be an 8-ounce label, boxes. and those only weigh like 2 ounces, so... Perfect. All right, CW. We were just over here in CW, I think. Oh, no, that was CJ. CW Columbia. Columbia Snow Boots. Let me grab a little box for that. I'm going to come on back here. Choices. <laughs> I don't know if you think it would fit in this. Probably not, huh? Probably too. We might be able to. Slim. Yeah, I think it'll fit in that actually. It's just a random one that I feel like might never fit anything else. Right. Might have to rearrange them a little bit, but yeah, they should fit. Let's just make sure they're under. Yay! Cool. So yeah, I love to use those random little boxes. Um, these are just some Columbia snow boots from my Once Upon a Child haul that we just did. Those sold on Poshmark. Someone offered me $30, and I was happy to accept. I have 807 into those. I think those would fit good in the A. Maybe not. Maybe a little too... Hang on. What do you think it'd be? Maybe a B. <laughs> or a medium flat rate. <laughs> Which you probably want to <laughs> save those, though. So. I only grabbed five, but... Most post offices don't like, have these. You can just find it. Hey. It's kind of a perfect fit. It's so. well. Cool. All right. And this is another viewer sale. So let's, this is a bundle. These are going out. I feel like I'm gonna butcher your name. I think it's Sherlene or Sherlyn. The way I'm like doing it with phonics would be Sherlyn, but I'm not <laughs> sure that it's, I don't know. 
<laughs> Tell us in the comments how you yeah. say your name. Um, also, I hope you're okay with me saying your name. I noticed on your label it doesn't have your actual name, but I saw you put your name in the note that you sent. So yeah, hopefully that's okay. So <laughs> she grabbed this Love Never Fails tee and then a pair of the little toddler bobs. So um, she had got the two Posture VA offers and then instead of accepting, she put them in a bundle and offered me pretty much the same $48 for the two items. I have $15.58 into the box and two bucks into the shirt. So I was happy to accept. Awesome. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Hopefully those work out well. I know she said the bugs are for her grandson. Awesome. They're so cute. That seems like a, a really nice way to make it easy for us putting yeah. it in a bundle for <laughs> us. So thank you so much for all the yeah, support. Honestly, I don't ever like now that posture VA is doing yeah. everything pretty much I never really look through my feed to right. like, try to make bundles for anyone or even yeah I know people put stuff in bundles themselves but I never like go back to send offers right. I probably should put that in my schedule like once a week or so but we definitely have put Poshmark on the kind of like set it and yeah, forget it with working, the posture VA so <laughs> yeah I honestly think I'd be making even more sales if I did you know yeah do those bundles and stuff but Ugh. Alrighty, um, finally sold these. If you've been watching our channel, you've probably, probably seen been them up there, there a for long like a time. year. Um, I got these on the Real Real, so they always send out those thirty dollars credits. I wish they had an affiliate, but they don't. But I think anybody can just go join the Real Real, and you get like at least twenty five bucks for your first purchase. So I will say their shipping is like twelve dollars. So, <laughs> uh, that coupon can be applied towards the shipping, but everything on their site's like at least $30 or more. But yeah. anyways, after my coupons, they always have like a 20% off code on the top of the screen as well. They do allow you to use both. My out of pocket on these was $15.15 .15, and someone offered me $61 today. So I was very happy to accept, yeah. finally get them on their way. I don't know why these took so long. They're really nice. They're like in really great shape. They are just a youth size, but they still retail over a hundred something. Right. So, I they're, don't know. Hope they're not the typical UGG. I feel like the classic <laughs> yeah, just UGG black boot is chestnut. yeah the most popular ones. Yeah. So I'll put those in a regional B. I didn't see what I would put a viewer sale in. Oh. Um, what do you think? That was on Poshmark? Yeah. Probably a B, another B. We got lots of those now. <laughs> so if you are new here and don't know much about Poshmark, you can use uh, any of the flat rate boxes, any of the priority boxes, and the regional boxes for the shipping. Yeah, just not express, right? which is like blue. So it should be pretty obvious like if you see them. They just look different than the rest. So. Yep, and they are free boxes that you can get from USPS. <laughs> just go online put in an order i think somebody asked if you had to have like a business address to be able to order that stuff online and you don't you could have it shipped right to your house we have it shipped right to our house yep. um, in our own name not a business name or anything like that so um just don't use them for anything else that is yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> i don't i kind of consider it mail fraud <laughs> but i don't know how I mean, far too, yeah. the post office would you know i don't think they're going to come down <laughs> and arrest you for people. using it like wrapping them in a bag or yeah. something like just don't do that like if you're trying to do pirate ship where you do box in a bag which you shouldn't do anyways unless you're doing it correctly <laughs> but yeah don't put this and then put a mailer on it that is mail fraud right so. yeah anyways <laughs> back to the scheduled programming box you <laughs> Um, these are those Walking Cradles animal hair flats that I picked up even though comps weren't great. I just yeah. thought that they were in perfect condition um, and they were a size 10 and a half, I think, wide. So I thought they were a good style. Um, I do have an average cost of goods that day of 10 14 Someone offered me 30 for these, so I was happy to accept those, that. Those sold quicker than I yeah, expected. I, yeah, I definitely, I would pick them up again based on how quickly they sold. A shoe box. Maybe I think a shoe box. Yeah. Maybe I Probably need it for the length. They're kind of long, so. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, CI. These, I think these are my favorite thing I found on my Once Upon a Child haul. I knew that these would sell fast. 
and they had so much interest right away and I wasn't really sending offers on them because these retail for $75 even though they're just kid snow boots um, and they're in like perfect condition so yeah I thought I could at least get 40 plus ship I ended up getting $39.94 plus ship so very happy with that and those are also going out in a shoe box those you ones, were way off with that guess yeah <laughs> those ones sold on um, eBay So these Vionic flip-flops, which oddly enough also came from my Once Upon a Child haul, even though they're women's. And I got them on the day with all those snow boots. So I did average cost of goods again, 807 into them. These sold for $26.66 plus shipping. I normally get a little more for Vionic flip-flops, but they have like some white residue on the flip beds. And then like the size tags are like ripping up. So mm -hmm. you can still make them out, but right. I figured, and plus we're going into fall, so. Yeah. Take a quick sale with that. Uh, let me use one of my cutie Halloween <laughs> ones. <laughs> we just got a big, yeah. as if we didn't have enough mailers already, right. we got some more. <laughs> these are not shipping hip, but these are like more Halloween-y, so I want to use these first. My shipping hip ones are like more fall, so I Yeah, like they'll I last a little longer. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah, so these came like a lot later than they should have. So now I only have a month to use them and I bought 400, like, mm -hmm. 200 of each print, so I don't think I'm gonna get through them, but I'll just have them for next year. So, yeah. That's and if that. you're curious, those are by Magical Mailers if you yeah. guys want to go get them yourself. I know they had a pre order. I don't know if they're gonna have any extras to put on the site. She's still even just shipping yeah. out the pre order, so. There was kind of a big yeah. shipping disaster where she was expecting them and didn't get them and yeah, put her like behind. The, her whole like pallet or whatever yeah. got like lost and like UPS didn't know where it was, so. So it might be hard to come by, and we just got them yeah, like yesterday, I, right? So, so like on the pre-order day, she had like so many that were supposed to be ready to ship because like her pallet, or I don't know if it's a whole pallet, but right. her it was supposed to be like order. delivered that day, and it just didn't. So, it's all good. I will use as many as I can. Yeah, I'll still probably use them in November too. <laughs> yeah. All right, I sold these Sorel boots on ebay for 25.33 plus shipping these are from the once upon a child day so 807 into those and they're shipping in a padded flat rate all right and then oh gosh ah i think <laughs> says. yes um these are the band ortho heel um, I love picking up this brand. These sold for $30 plus shipping. I have $7.99 into them. And they are going to go out in a shoebox. So eBay's finally come back to life for me a little yeah. bit. Now that I've been listing really consistently. Yep. So yeah, um, this is not a sale. I debated even telling you guys, but I was like, ah, it's something to talk about. Yeah. I feel like I mentioned this a lot that I'm like picky and stuff, so... And on our live the other day, we were talking about just scammers and getting like returns or stuff like that. So this is something I bought for myself. Off and to, to say, like you mentioned scammers, we're not saying this is a scammer no. or anything like that. So no, um, like we were talking about in the live video that like as sellers, we feel like sometimes people are trying to scam us. Right. And then I was mentioning like I do returns a lot because usually I get items not as described. And right. I feel like the sellers think I'm a scammer, but really I just want the item I. Right thought I bought so anyways this is a perfect example of that yeah so this is just like a strip of pullover that I bought for myself um the pictures on Poshmark showed it knew a tag the fleece looked perfect which looking yeah far well, away it doesn't look tell. too bad but, but kind of when you, show when you, you get up close it's really matted down it's like full look at of the grass sleeves. and like fuzzies yeah. look at these elbows like so Super it's just worn really out. disgusting, honestly. So yeah, I opened a return and I know Poshmark was gonna approve it because it it is not as described. So I guess what she did was, she seemed like a fairly new seller, so she just may not know kind of like the whole process, but um, it looked like she bought the soft posh a while back and then she did the reposh thing, mm -hmm. which I guess puts the old person's pictures and information in there. So she didn't take her own pictures of the item that she was selling then after she wore it right. many times and got all this on it. So. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah, and like, 
I don't know. If it was cheaper, I may have tried to do something with it, but I paid thirty dollars plus shipping for it, so like almost forty right. bucks on Posh. And yeah, that's just <laughs> wasn't gonna work for me. I'm pretty cheap considering I could probably find something similar that's not name brand at the thrift or yeah. at Walmart. So in better condition, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, I open up the return and she was defensive and everything, but I mean I understand like yeah. She was just like, you should have known it was used for the price you paid. Like, what? And <laughs> I think it just, it just another important reason as to why you should always take your own photos. Like, we're not huge fans of, of uh, stock photos. And even if we use right. a stock photo, we still have our own photos there um, in the listing, right? To yeah. show the exact mm -hmm. item that we're selling. Um, and I, th I think as resellers, that's very important so that the buyer knows exactly what they're getting. And in this case, you know, it was the pictures of the item, but it was from <laughs> before the it item was, when she was bought used. It new, right. And it was just funny because I went back to look at how much she bought it for and it was only like 10 bucks more than I bought it from her right. for. But then her point was that I should have known it was based on the price that I paid, which yeah, even I honestly would not have picked up this shirt in this condition at a garage sale for like even a buck. Like, right. To me, this is like trash almost. Like, yeah. I don't want to be like rude, but like it just, it's very worn. Like I just wouldn't even give it to a, like donate it. Like if I was right. taking a bag to Goodwill, I wouldn't even put that in there. So I don't know. I'm probably more picky <laughs> than other people. I do think you are but, slightly, you are more picky yeah. um, about condition and stuff like that than the average person, I yeah. believe. But um, I, so. I can look at this <laughs> and... I mean, objectively <laughs> say that it's not in good condition yeah. right if it would have said like good pre-owned condition i you know i'd probably just yeah. suck it up and keep it and whatever but i literally thought it was new it right. showed new and everything so yeah let me know i just wanted <laughs> to say that because like if you're a new seller just don't yep. do that first of all um just show close up show yeah. i mean show as much detail as you can anything that you think might bother somebody right just try to point it out. And in reality, it's not going to hurt the seller, right? She's right. going to get it back. She gets her item back. She yeah. can resell it. I did say um, this looked like it was her only her second sale on the app. So, you know, she just might not really right. know what she's doing yet. But, yeah, she's not out anything. I just send it back. She doesn't have to pay the return shipping. Right. She gets the item, re-photographs it, relists it. Yeah. So that is what I love about Posh as far as returns, though. So. Yeah. yeah. It is nice that they don't really take it out on either party. Yep. I guess, right? Like, there, she's not losing any shipping, right? Poshmark yeah. fronts the shipping. Yeah. So, anyway, enough about that. <laughs> we will get this stuff all packed up, and we'll be right back. <laughs> all right, got everything all packed up, ready to go. No more sales. No more yet. sales today. Nope. And it is 3.40, <laughs> which means we got to go pick up, not the boys, because actually Cyrus uh, stayed home today. He was going to go on a field trip today, and we got a call from the school about, what, I don't know, 30 minutes after he was in school saying he had a tummy ache. He's fine. I think he was just nervous. I don't know. He's in kindergarten, and it was like it would have been his first real field trip, so... I think he just got butterflies in his tummy and thought he had a tummy, stomach ache, and so he's been home all day, <laughs> missing out on all the fun, which is sad. And of course, because it's COVID time, you know, we can't just be like, uh, he's fine, can we take him back to <laughs> whatever? So he's been home, but. Uh, so we are gonna go pick up Connor from, all that to say, we're gonna go pick up Connor from school and take the stuff off to the post office, and that is gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye. She's stacking them. <laughs>